what is going on guys welcome back to another android firebase tutorial so in this video i'm doing another requested video which is actually how to set up the add mob add unit id from one lane and load it into the android app so some of the viewers were asking for this video just because they are finding that their android app is getting cracker using the lucky patcher or some kind of application so basically what is happening is that they have been getting uh, they have been ge losing some of their earnings just because uh, some of the crackers or hackers is trying to change the add unit id which is actually server inside the string file which is actually inside the apk file so they are changing the string uh, the, the add unit string and uh, replacing it with the one that they have and uh, trying to get money using this kind of hack methods so one of the best solution for this is to load the add unit id from the firebase database server so this way uh, you can make sure that the data the add unit id is not so not stored inside the android app which uh, we, which we can able to use for avoiding this kind of hacking so so the first thing that you have to do is from the last video we have set it up the firebase console which we have a sample app so if you want to know about just uh, customizing all these things and setting up a project inside the firebase console then you can watch the video over here so and once you have done and uh, now I have a sample activity sample application in my Android studio which is sample app and as you can see it's pretty much easy let me, let me remove this okay now uh, so, the first, so the first thing is that what we have to do is that just go to the database and in the database just click on the get started now from the last video we have this permission child so I'm just removing that and this time I'm just going to create a new child with the name something like add mob banner add or something this just an example so I'm just leaving it as add mob with a sample add unit id so i guess this is how it's going to look like pu or blah 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 anything and okay just something else clicking the ender now we have the add mob child just copying this url going back now first off we have to add some of the dependencies which i have already done in the previous video and uh, here is all the dependencies here is this plugin and finally in this we have this google service and we also have the let me show you we also have this google json file google service json file now going back to android so firebase now we have to set the context so i said android context this and the next thing is that firebase my firebase equal to new for firebase and pasting the copy to url now my firebase then set oops add value even listener then uh, value even listener now i'm just going to create a string so that we can get the data which is the add mob id into the string and use it inside the add mob ads so string my add mob uh, add unit okay that's it now on data changer my add mob then equal to data snapshot then get key uh, oops get value okay now inside that we have to change it into string oops so now we have the value from the firebase console inside this string which is my add mob unit add unit so now you can use this thing inside your android uh, add mob add unit ads so what I'm going to do is simply just moving it from the on create to a new method so private void uh, load my ads okay pasting it here then calling this method so load my ads okay now we have it so the next thing is that what I'm going to do is simply 
yeah that that's almost it if you want to just add this uh, string into a uh, add mob for example if you want to add it inside the add mob banner add so just go to this firebase uh, this just an example just go all the way down and select the add mob click on the add a banner so this time it will be like this just copy let me show you just paste it over here and uh, oops add view so this time you will have to add the add view which is this one and dragging it into the center click on this so that it will add the google play services for the ad so go to tags make it into match parent So I'm not actually, I'm not actually going so much deep deep into this setting up the layout and all these things. So simply just giving you a basic idea about how it is going to work. Pressing the Alt and uh, clicking on the Add Request. That's it. Now the thing that you have to do is that you have to manually add the add unit to this add mob banner add. So it's for that, what you have to do is simply type mem m then add view set add unit then the string name that is my add mob add unit which is exactly the same thing so you have to also make sure to call this method which is load my add which will load the add unit id into the string and uh, once you're done you can call this method so i got some errors uh, which is probably because of this wrong width so anyway that's it so I hope you got the idea and I hope this video makes some sense for you guys and um, let me know guys if you have any kind of questions regarding this. Anyway, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace out.